Hello everybody, this is Chris, and this is, is a video on uh, some new packages and some new workflow for Sublime Text 2. Um, if I go in the control, I think control P here and go to actually list list packages. These are the packages that I'm currently using for this Sublime Text 2, and a lot of these are new. So Emmet. You've seen me use it before. Level for Artisan is an Artisan plugin uh, alongside the Jeffrey Wade generators that I've shown you how to install before. The other one is Level for, for Snippets, and of course, Level Blade Highlighter, uh, Level Color Screen, Color Scheme, the Level Generator, and Package Control, and Pi V8, which is used by Emmet. Now. We're going to discuss the, the artisan, the snippets, you've seen the blade highlighter, and the generator. So, for the generator, if I wanted to come in here and say, or if I wanted to create a migration, I could say Control Shift P and type in migrate, and here I go. I can generate a migration here. So, I can say create users table as the name and then the fields I could say username string comma email string and password string hit enter go up here to database migrations and there's our migration so I've already generated a schema and now all I have to do is go on the control shift P hit migrate and boom bam it is done hit control plus the tilde key hit twice go back go into localhost PHP my admin log in go to L4 and there's my users table and I didn't have to touch the terminal at all this really saves a huge amount of time between switching back and forth between the terminal and uh, sublime text so what else can you do with this I can generate a model so I can hit control shift P go to model I'm going to generate a model and I will create a user's model so we already have one so let's create a post model I create a post model and there you can see it's already created control tilde control tilde again go into models and there's my post model and there's so many that's not the only thing you can see here if you just type Laravel you can see all the different things you can do you can do changes down that's the role uh, you get list, migrate, optimize routes. You can create routes, uh, create resources. You can scaffold, which I'll be going over in the next in an upcoming tutorial. It's similar to using Ruby scaffold, and it's really good for getting up and running fast with Laravel and also prototyping. Um, then you have your Laravel artisan. So Laravel artisan key generate, you generate a key, migrate, install, migrate, make all these other different commands and you never have to go into a terminal you know because I could hit control T control plus T LT and hit go in the terminal and do the same thing you know I'd have to go to you know var www dot I mean or L4 CD var www there we go you know, and then I can ls and look and see what all it's got. So it's much easier for me uh, to do it this way. You still have to use the terminal to install through use Composer, but once you get Composer done, once you've got it installed, uh, everything else you can do it straight through Sublime Text. So. I encourage you, you, all these are available through the package control. So if I go back into list, uh, 
all these available through the package control and the other thing that we wanted to go over is the what is it, level 4 snippets and these are pretty cool so you can say route and you can look here and I think it's g get routes and everything else so instead of uh, like route put would be put there you go and probably route get would probably be the same thing so route get would be there and you know you could say uh, log in go to the next action and say you know home controller at get login your login controller and why is it like that but anyways like I said give it a try it has increased my uh, my workflow exponentially uh, since I don't have to go back to the terminal and stay tuned for the next video